first heard about China and the EU striking this agreement on a future trade deal, what was your initial reaction? I couldn't think of any better way to end 2020 and neither could I think of any better way to start 2021. It's a confident statement from George Lau, the general manager of German firm Tu Rheinland based here in Guangzhou. With China accounting for the company's biggest profit margin, it's no wonder Lau sees a promising potential of a China-EU trade deal. We already are looking at a very, very good, mature and also transparent market conditions for a German company and also for European companies. And it is really a step in the right direction. I see that in future when it is really ratified, much more market access opportunities for European companies opening up. The quality control and certification firm has been in China for over 30 years, servicing both domestic and international clients. With such experience comes an understanding of the Chinese market, both its advantages and inadequacies. For the veteran business manager, China's commitments within the trade deal are worthy of praise. Joint ventures, the, the requirements of setting, having to set up, set up a, a joint ventures for European businesses obviously has been lifted or will phase out in the near future. By the way, the single most in, ambitious commitment by China towards any uh, other um, Eco economy, yeah, then it is really reassuring to know that China has committed itself to reglementation and to, to also discipline um, well, state owned enterprises and also others not to force tech transfer. Over the last 20 years, European Foreign Direct Investment, or FDI, into China reached more than 140 billion euros, while Chinese FDI going into Europe was just over 120 billion. For business groups such as the European Chamber of Commerce, the recently signed political agreement could pave way for more growth. So these figures are impressive uh, to key uh, trade partners. Um, however, of course, uh, EU investment uh, in China is relatively modest, uh, considering the, the market of China and the potential of the Chinese economy, but still. And as for South China, manufacturing is a key industry for many foreign invested enterprises, making its mention in the agreement worth the analysis. EU investment uh, in China are represented, represented by more than half uh, in, in uh, manufacturing. Uh, same in South China as well, 63% of our members are in the manufacturing uh, sector. Uh, so it's definitely key. We see uh, this uh, agreement, the CAI, uh, benefiting several sectors in manufacturing. The agreement on investment is set to replace 26 different trade treaties between China and EU member states creating a unified trade deal. But as some analysts suggest, no matter how promising and ambitious the deal may sound, the process of going through EU parliament ratification may prove to be both lengthy and challenging. Omar Khan, CGTN, Guangzhou.